today's episode, I'm taking a poke at what's new and cool in Microsoft 365 for July 2025. Best buckle up. Today's episode is sponsored by Ticket by Cyrusen. Ticket is the leading Microsoft aligned IT service management platform built for Microsoft Teams. Visit ticket.ai and try it today for free. Hi everyone, Andy here. So nice to see you and a warm welcome to the channel. Well, Microsoft 365 continues to go from strength to strength and this month it's got a new look. So we're going to have a look at some of its new looks, some new features as well that have now come into both public preview and general availability. On top of that, if you've got any questions and comments about this or any of my other videos, get those down below and I'll always do my best for you. And if you haven't subscribed, on that subscribe button, ring the bell and make sure that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. So either without any further ado, let's buckle up and check out what's new and cool in Microsoft 365. Okay, so kicking off in the new Microsoft 365 landing page, you'll notice one thing, that the product has actually changed name again. So it's now called M365 Copilot. So the first question is, am I in Microsoft 365 or am I in Copilot? Now, just to be clear, this is the public version of Copilot. So you're probably thinking, hang on, this is unusual because I don't pay for Copilot. Okay, well, don't worry, you're not paying for it. Uh, this is actually the free version. And as you can see, you can upload files from your device. You can attach cloud drive files. This is kind of like ChatGPT, almost similar actually. And you can also chat with an agent. Just to mention, you get a few prompting ideas here. You can see more uh, potential suggestions or less, uh, whichever you want. Now, just to say that there is a daily limit. So just like if you went into a web browser and you use the free version of ChatGPT, you use the free version of Copilot, you're going to get a certain amount of tries. So for example, 10 minutes or something like that. So in that respect, again, Microsoft are basically saying, hey, this is try before you buy. Again, it's all about getting more people using Copilot. Now, the one thing I will say, which is quite nice, is the fact that we you have that um, web-based protection here. So just up here, you can see that because I'm using Microsoft 365, you do get that enterprise data protection, which is really good. And that means that you're data is protected. Now, the other thing that we also have here are the introduction of agents. Now, Microsoft have been making a lot of noise about these. Um, so you have a number of agents. And I guess the idea is that eventually that these will not just be Microsoft based agents, but they'll also be third party agents. As you can see, some of them are already starting to come in. So some of the agents, though, one thing, unlike Copilot chat, so the Copilot chat is for free, but if you click onto any of the agents here, you'll notice, hang on a minute, you need to have that license. So you do need that paid subscription in order to gain access to that. The annoying thing is here that you can't uh, customize this. You can't switch them off. So I, you do feel a little that they're kind of pushed uh, on you. Now, previous conversations that you've had with the chat will, of course, uh, appear here. Again, um, because it's the free version, it doesn't maintain a chat history, which can be a little bit frustrating. Now, the other thing that we've got here as well, uh, again, you've got create. So exactly what do I want to create? Of course, do you want to create a new document, new PowerPoint presentation? I like this. So the fact that you get these really nice kind of templates and they're super easy to see and super easy to understand. They're all categorized here as well. So if you're looking for a new job, a CV or resume, some different types of reports, I can create a presentation. I can create a workbook, a form and a template. I love it. I think this is an absolutely awesome feature. In terms of coming into apps, of course, Copilot is always there at the beginning. But of course, we have our other Microsoft apps there as well. One thing I actually am missing is the, uh, I called it the waffle, the little square button at the top here with all your apps. I actually like that. And I do hope that Microsoft brings that back. I think that was a nice shortcut. 
And it's a shame because it seems to be missing from here. So it means that you'd always have to go back into that page. Now, what we also have, of course, is we have the all apps button here. And again, this is nice. Everything's in alphabetical order. So everything's super kind of easy to find here as well. We also have collaboration. So Copilot used to be known as the people. Uh, it's now called the org explorer. Again, this is nothing new. We've had this in Microsoft 365 for many, many years. This is just a way of viewing your uh, organization structure within your company. So you can simply click on an option and you can view this user. And the nice thing is you can see where this user stands within the organization. At this point, you can also click on the user's profile. You get that information card. You can find out uh, how to contact the user, how the organization sits, what files they're currently working on, if they're doing any messages, and of course, if they've got any LinkedIn posts, all of which, of course, is available there uh, as long as you've got the appropriate permissions to see them, of course. And I really like the Organization Explorer. I think it's a great tool and it's definitely one I think you would use. Now, what else have we got? So any third party apps, of course, will appear here down below. So getting your work done. And of course, here you can see that everything is categorized. My only argument here is that it does seem to be a little bit busy here. Um, but anyway, there we go. Again, the admin center itself is exactly the same. That's never changed at the moment. Um, it's just this main page that we've got here. Okay, now in the past, we would have had a settings option up here. That's now gone. So again, it's down here. So you can see your profile, you view your account. Again, if you needed to, to reset your security features and so on. We do have a little ellipse here at the bottom of the page. This is a shortcut into your settings. Again, if you need help. And also, of course, Microsoft uh, love your feedback. If you want to download the Microsoft 365 app, this is the shortcut to do that. Um, and again, if you want to provide any kind of feedback to Microsoft, you can also do that here as well. Now, you'll also notice that we have more ellipses. So again, if you want to manage the apps, if you want to customize them there, you can do so. And again, there's this little kind of close window here, which makes things a little bit cleaner. So there you have it. This is the new main page for Microsoft 365, the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So moving over to one of my favorite products, which is SharePoint. And you'll notice here the new metadata feature. Now, the metadata feature, if you're familiar with the likes of lists or tasks, you'll notice that there are a number of similarities. The fact that you can have different colored metadata. I think that is a really nice welcomed feature. Now, in my opinion, this is the biggest change in a generation in SharePoint. And it's something that we, you realize, oh my goodness, why on earth didn't you have this? This is the new simplicity sharing feature in SharePoint. Now you can simply go into the properties of any share, any folder, any file, and you can see immediately at a glance what permissions are shared and who they're shared with. Oh my goodness, where have you been all of my life? So this next SharePoint feature obviously does require that additional Copilot add-on, but this is a nice feature because it gives you, along with the file, you get a nice Copilot summary of what the file is about and what it's containing. So I'm sure when we're collaborating with colleagues and with potential customers, this could be quite a useful feature. Is it worth the add-on cost though? Mm, I'm not so sure. Okay, up next is SharePoint document e-signatures. Now, if you're familiar with DocuSign, of course, you know, the PDF signing software, very, very similar. You can now send a SharePoint document to a customer or a colleague for their signature, and you can add in this e-signature feature. That's a really nice feature. Again, I've been a long time coming. Next is a feature that's been in Teams for a little while, but it's so nice to see it now integrated into SharePoint. This is approvals. So again, a nice, easy way that you can approve the documents or access to resources or anything like that. So this comes in and again, it can be an owner or somebody that you specify. Again, a welcomed entry into SharePoint online. So back to Copilot now in Outlook. And one of the problems that I don't know about you, but I've had in the past 
is when you're doing draft responses or you're trying to draft a, an email response for Copilot, uh, it's quite unsure of the length um, of the email, the tone that it's going to use. Well, now you can train Copilot to do just that. If you go into your settings page and in draft instructions, you can now configure all of those settings so that when you respond using Copilot, it's going to give you a much richer, clearer response. Nice feature. And finally, we come to Entra Connect Sync. So it used to be known as Azure AD Connect, of course. It's just going through a major upgrade. Make sure that you check it out. Uh, there is now a new feature, Configure Application-Based Authentication to use Entra ID Connect. And it's now in preview. So again, this feature is now in preview. More information on that, you can go to learn microsoft.com but check out the upgrade now available so there you have it what's new and cool in microsoft 365 for july 2025 quite a busy one hey listen if you've got any questions comments as always get those down below and if you've not subscribed bump the subscribe button and come and join my learning community i really do appreciate you visiting today and i'll see you next time take care